All right, guys. <laughs> this is interesting. Uh, welcome to my bedroom. I never show it for whatever reason. So um, I guess we're just gonna hang out in my room today because I wanna show you guys my 2024 record collection. Part of the series of me just being bored in my apartment all the time. I can show you like a little bit of a room tour right now. There's not much in this room. But yeah, this is my room. No, whoop. This is my room. I had to change the uh, comforter recently because I bought like an orange one and my sensitive skin was like, hell no to polyester. So now we're going with a cotton quilt. Yeah, I got some drawings on the wall and uh, blankets right there. Nightstand, finishing a smoothie that I made this morning. Nothing really going on here. This is a fake plant, by the way. Um, and then right here I have turntable and records. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this video, but yeah. And then, yeah, I got a puzzle on the wall. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this? I don't know how to work an iPhone. I kind of refuse to have a TV in my room just because the TV's literally right there. So what's the point in my head? There's not much in this room, but I do think the walls are like so ginormous in this apartment. I don't really know what to put on the walls half the time. Let's get into the record collection. Okay, so I just had to scooch all this over here so I could get everything in the shot. Yeah, this is the collection. Right here is all like the instrumental music, like soundtracks, jazz, Christmas music. And then over here is like the regular music. I'll go over the regular music first and then do the soundtracks. This is a lot. I don't know how many records this is. Last time I did the video, it was like 50. So I'm assuming I'm at like 70 now or something around there. I don't know. I never, I haven't counted. I probably should, but yeah, eventually I would, like to like fill up this whole shelf, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> ACDC, Back in Black. A day to remember what separates me from you. A day to remember, Homesick. A day to remember, Common Courtesy. This is one of my favorite soundtracks as of right now that I've been listening to a lot. Uh, a good suggestion is Sometimes You're the Hammer, Sometimes You're the Nail. It's a really good song to listen to right now, especially at the gym, so. Listen to that. Arcade Fire, The Suburbs. Ariana Grande, Thank You, Next. Ariana Grande, Positions. Avril Lavigne, The Best Damn Thing. Blink-182, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. Blink-182, Greatest Hits. <coughs> Losing my voice. Crown the Empire, The Resistance. Elton John, Greatest Hits. Fall Out Boy, Believers Never Die. Fleetwood Mac, Rumors. Foo Fighters, Greatest Hits. Frank Sinatra, Ultimate Sumatra, Ultimate Greatest Hits. Grease, Original Soundtrack. Green Day, American Idiot. Mm, I'm like setting all these down right here. <laughs> Jimmy Eat World, Bleed American. Kill Switch Engage, As Daylight Dies. La La Land, Original Soundtrack. Let's Eat Grandma, Two Ribbons. Leonard Skinner, pronounced Leonard Skinner. Still one of my favorite albums of all time that I listen to just on the regular. I listen to this a lot. Nirvana, never mind. Oasis, What's the Story, Morning Glory. Again, one of my favorite soundtracks of all time. Or why do I keep saying soundtracks? One of my favorite albums of all time. Love this album ever since high school. One of my favorites. Periphery, Juggernaut versus Omega. No, wait. Juggernaut, Alpha, and Omega. Oh my god, I haven't touched this one in forever. Periphery 3, Select Difficulty. I'm still pissed off I don't have Periphery 2. It's like they never sell it on, on record. Periphery 4, Hail Stand. Periphery 5, Gent is not a genre. <laughs> Rage Against the Machine, Rage Against the Machine. Rage Against the Machine, Evil Empire. Rage Against the Machine, excuse me. Rage Against the Machine, Battle of Los Angeles. Rage Against the Machine, Renegades. Roberta Fleck, Quiet Fire. Great album, great songs. I love the song, Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow? It's so sad, but I don't know, I love it. The Who, who's next? The Weekend, After Hours, Veil of Maya, False Idol. Oh, that's it for the, uh, the, the regular music right here, all on the floor, collapsing. That felt really dusty. I, I tried to clean everything regularly, like at least dust wise. Oh, um, like this needs to get dusted. But yeah, everything I try to keep clean. I do suggest if you want to collect records to get like these plastic, things because they do like keep the quality of the artwork preserved. 
because there are some that I have here that are destroyed on pure accident. This is good to have to just preserve everything. Really nice. You can get them on Amazon for like, you can get like a hundred of these for like 10 bucks or something like that. They're really cheap. So um, yeah, there's that. <laughs> yeah, just ignore patch right there. It's keeping all the stuff up. So here's all like the soundtracks and stuff. So like this first half, these are all like really old Christmas albums my parents gave me that my grandparents had. I guess we're just gonna learn these as we go. Uh, Wonderland of Christmas, Andre, Oh man, this is gonna be hard. Andre Koss Tell it. Oh my god, I am so bad. I am so sorry. Wonderland of Christmas. We're just gonna leave it as that. Family favorites for Christmas. Joyous Christmas. Let all these say Christmas on them. Songs for Christmas. The old and the new. Holy shit. Christmas with Kate Smith. The gift of Christmas. It smells like an old person's home in here right now. The great songs of Christmas. I'll never run out of Christmas music, that's for sure. Christmas with the Lennon sisters. Merry Christmas. He looks familiar. <laughs> yes, I know that's Bing Crosby. I'm not an asshole. Christmas sing along. He's so happy. Joyous Christmas. Golden Christmas favorites. Oh, that's it for the Christmas albums. I think I only listened to like two or three of these. I should really like clean these because these are really old and really dusty. I still have yet to get like vinyl record, like cleaner fluid. Oh, this isn't that bad. All right, continuing on with the soundtracks. We have The Dark Knight, original score. Sorry, I shouldn't be saying soundtracks. I should be saying score because the difference between score and soundtrack is score is instrumental. Soundtrack is like musical number, la 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 and shit. So these are scores, Stranger Things, three original score back to the future this is actually the soundtrack you know what? i don't even know what this section is but yeah that's the future soundtrack tron original score this one's really cool i just want to show you really quickly this is cool because it's like this clear blue isn't that cool it's so cool also no not to touch a record my fingerprints that's why I was holding it with the paper and shit. Don't come at me, cause I know a thing or two about music. My parents collected records, I collect records. I understand record etiquette, so yes. Soul original score. I love this movie, this is a really good movie, especially if you just like feel a little bit stuck in life. This is a good movie to watch. So definitely watch that if you have it. All right, now we're going on to Miles Davis because I have like a lot of Miles. Davis, Miles Davis, Sketches of Spain. Miles Davis and Milt Jackson, Quintet, Sextet. Miles Davis, Milestones. Oh, we have a straggler. This is King Crimson in the court of King Crimson. Some of these albums are like so thick that you can't fit the plastic on here and like things are like sticking out. So yeah, King Crimson in the court of King Crimson. Very good album pretty chaotic working with the miles davis quintet miles davis round about midnight the best of miles davis miles davis kind of blue cooking with the miles davis quintet i love this album i wish it wasn't as short as it is one of my favorites miles davis miles davis bitches brew and then this one is called the sounds of patchwork which is something my boss gave me because they accidentally signed up for like a record of the month kind of thing with the non-copyright music we use for work so this is like practically not copyright music i haven't listened to this yet clearly it's like unopened there's still the plastic on it which is pretty funny and then we got the 45s take me home country roads by john De denver and then the other side is paul Poems, prayers, and promises. Casey and the Sunshine Band, Shake Your Booty, on both sides apparently. Casey and the Sunshine Band, Keep It Coming Love, and Baby I Love You. And then this is Brian Adams, Heaven, the live and recorded version. So those are all the 45s. Yeah, that's pretty much the entire record collection. I started collecting records back in like 2020. So it does take a while to like accumulate records, especially since they're, they're kind of expensive nowadays because of like the quality of like some of these really big artsy stuff. And then sometimes the records are printed with more art and then they have like lyrics on the back. Yeah, sometimes the record itself, special kind of color 
This is like some weird, interesting color they have on this. So that's why this looks like an egg. This looks like a giant egg. That's why like records are kind of expensive. Um, and yes, it does take years to like accumulate over time, but that's like the fun of it is finding something you like and then buying it and going home and you know that's yours forever instead of like streaming music where like it disappears after a point. So um, there's like a perk with owning records, but yeah, it is an investment if you wanna spend money on that. And yes, it does take up space. Like I said, I don't have a TV in my room. I have the space for it. And I don't know, it's just like a fun thing to collect. And I, I hope to like grow beyond a hundred records, possibly fill up this record stand eventually. So yeah, that's it. That's the record collection. I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next video. See ya, bye.